I begged you at a dollar to buy Bitcoin. I'm begging you now, buy Bitcoin before it's too late. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are, whenever you are. Thank you for watching my videos. My name is Dimitri Jeremy. I'm in the pipe five by five here in Miami. Man, Bitcoin has made an all time high. It's now at uh, $65,000 and 6% away from its new all time high. Yeah, it is incredible. We're going to break the dollar all-time high. We've already broken other all-time highs in, in other current countries like the United States, such as, not the United States, but uh, Canada, Australia, right? We're breaking highs everywhere. Soon the dollar will be uh, a thing of the past, the dollar high. So this is not the reason why you want to buy Bitcoin. And I'll explain why. The reason why you want to buy Bitcoin is pretty much explained in this video. And I'm going to show you, it to you right now. Easy to carry, but hard to create. Well, one solution is Bitcoin. Back in 2008, I became fed up with government money, with the corruption, the manipulation, so I created a digital currency. Digital money that can be sent directly from one person to another without any bank or government involved. And the best part? It's hard money. It's the hardest money ever invented! Bitcoin is very hard to make more of. Each new coin gets added to the supply only after a computer works very hard to solve a math problem, where there's no shortcut and solving it costs a lot of energy and time. Okay, but if it's on a computer, can't I just copy and paste? Not with Bitcoin. You see, there's a public record of every Bitcoin ever created. It's called the blockchain. It's like a puzzle, and each Bitcoin has its own unique shape. And because everyone has a copy of the public record, if someone tries to fake a Bitcoin, it won't fit the puzzle and will be rejected by the network before anyone can use it. That's why Bitcoin is so safe from criminals and the government. <laughs> you said criminals twice. You don't want to be subjected to the major criminal of everyone, which is the government, right? They will do whatever they want to do. And you've seen it with COVID and, you know, with, you know, 9-11 and then following the Iraq war and whatever, right? So that's another reason right there is to, to buy Bitcoin. But the real reason is that Bitcoin is going to be the money that everybody uses. And right now, only 2.7% of the population actually own Bitcoin. And let me show you something. Right now, 62 million millionaires, almost 63, right? So if you want to round up, and not every one of those millionaires is going to have one Bitcoin. And they're going to want that because a lot of people are buying other alternative cryptocurrencies such as Shiba Inu or Pepe because they can buy a lot of them. They uh, they want a whole number or a multiple numbers of a specific asset. And this, this feeling, this phenomenon doesn't only exist with the average person, the poor person or something like that. It exists in the millionaire for millionaires as well. And I'm talking, not talking the millionaires that are like, for example, you know, I don't know, Bill Gates, Warren Buffett, you know, people, you know, that they're just mega billionaires. I'm talking about the millionaires who own a house paid for, for millions of dollars, right? Millions of dollars. And they feel that, you know, they're wealthy and they have this, this, this big house and, and that's their, their wealth right there. And that's not true, unfortunately. Those people are going to eventually have all their wealth transferred away from them to the people who actually have Bitcoin. Now, whether or not the price of the house goes down is not relevant because the house could continue going higher, but not as high as Bitcoin can outprice the house. So effectively, they can get the same dollars for the house or more, but not the same value. Right? So they might be able to get right now, you know, a certain number of Big Macs, like let's just say 10,000 Big Macs today. But in the future, when Bitcoin's money, even though their house might be the same dollar value, maybe, they could only get 100 Big Macs or 1,000 Big Macs, Big Macs for that same house. 
that's what's going to happen. Even though, you know, their dollar value is higher or the same of the house. Something like that is going to happen to their value of their wealth in the coming years. If they do not, take advantage of Bitcoin right now and buy some Bitcoin right now. If you have one Bitcoin, you have an advantage over 60 million people who will be coming to buy Bitcoin in the future if they are not buying it right now. 65,000 probably is not going to be coming back. We're not going to visit 65,000 unless we do a quick pullback, maybe from a higher level or something like that. This is, I think Bitcoin is in a super cycle right now. We closed another week higher. We're moving higher as well into a February, into the March month, which is not normal unless we were going into some sort of Bitcoin hype cycle, super cycle. So I'm assuming, I'm guessing here that Bitcoin, and I really think this is right, Bitcoin is going to continue going higher and breaking all time highs all up into the happening because the average person that finally decided to see what Bitcoin is, is now seeing it and thinking, oh my God, this happening thing. Better get some before that happens, right? Because Bitcoin's going to go to the moon on the happening. And, and they don't really think about that. They only see the price price going higher. But right? that's not what generally happens when price is moving higher into a specific event. We're going to see that, that 20 to 40% pullback in when we get to that happening. But you don't want, you don't know where it's going to pull back from. Is it going to pull back from 70K or 100K? Who knows? 100K seems like, you know, the most likely target since it's a big fat round number. And a lot of people were waiting for that number to actually sell some Bitcoin in the previous run. So effectively, that will be a, a, a price target that is most likely to be see Bitcoin come back from or close to it, maybe 90, 95,000 or something like that. Whew, it's going to be a wild ride and you don't want to miss it. You do not want to miss it. Man, I'm going to be doing a, a video later on today where I'm going to be dating, debating with Peter Schiff on Bitcoin versus gold and going to have fun with that. It's going to be an interesting video and I hope you guys watch it. It's going to, you have to subscribe to Mr. M's podcast. I might be able to put it public only for my private subscribers today. Can't guarantee that. If I can, I will. If I can't, sorry, just can't. It's just one of those things. If we can do that, I will do it for you guys. All right, moving on to the Bitcoin, right? We have, we saw in some consolidation of the 62 and and then we've taken off. We we saw the FU move right here, and then boom, we're off the races with Bitcoin. Didn't trade this at all, of course, because I was quite busy. I'm, I'm here in Miami. I had to to, to a flight and everything. But yeah, I was looking at this, and and man, yeah, this is incredible movement. I knew that it was going to go higher. There was a chance that we were going to pull back at the at the all time at the the previous all time high, the local highs that that we've really been getting of 64,000, but nope, there it is. Uh, we've got we're quickly rejected and f because of a lot of short sellers thinking that this is going to reverse and when it didn't, of course, they had to reverse their position and here we are taking off higher. Looks like 69,000 is just going to, we're going to blow through that really fast in the coming week or in the, in this coming month. So make sure you have some Bitcoin in the long term. Looking at Ethereum, Ethereum, while I am I'm impressed with Ethereum going even higher than I, I thought it could, we could head up to this these trend lines, which is pretty pretty scary. Bitcoin coming up to this, I mean, Ethereum heading up to these trend lines, these upward trend lines from way back here is just insane. We are moving really, really rapidly. Even on the daily, you see that we're, we have been far away from all the EMAs. This is, this is actually incredible and almost unprecedented what we're talking about. We haven't even supposed to be in the, be in the bull market just yet. That's what, that's, that's is the unprecedented nature of it is that the bull market really hasn't started just yet. It starts next year, like in September, the next last quarter of 2024. And here we are early 
to this bull run. And yeah, we're seeing crazy price movements. Now, where do you trade this? How do you get into this? It, you know what? Should we buy this top? Is it going higher? That's the real question you guys we really have. Well, if you're buying for the long term, yes. If you're buying right now in the short term, you're going to have to to only trade this on the short term time frame because of the vol because you are doing high leverage and because of high leverage, these things are going to happen and you need to be prepared for them and be able to, you know, survive the trades. And so these long wicks that take people out are are very common. You can see that this W was a clear indication that you take this trade and let it go higher. And then it came back. If your stat just stops, you moved your stop to break even, taking you out, right? Normal movements in the market, especially if you're a low leverage trader, they doesn't, they, the market does not want it to take you high leverage to a higher price, price, price pro, a possibility. Wow. So right now you can see on the 15 minutes, we are you know, overextended a little bit. We can, we're going to probably have to come back through the, the, the EMA ribbons and retest the, the lower levels in the next little while. So probably just below the ribbons, but I wouldn't say that through the 200 period moving average, we are on a, a very big move up. So we can continue high going higher with Ethereum. And so if you're interested in buying, you, you're going to have to buy uh, wait for some market structures. I would, that's how I do is just wait for a W right to, to take me to a higher price levels. Okay. Well, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. I'm looking forward to my next video with uh, Peter Schiff and, and Maurizio on Mr. M's podcast. Uh, make sure you subscribe to Mr. M's podcast. The link is in the description below and you could watch an epic, epic video of me debating Peter Schiff about Bitcoin. Cheers.